morning everyone. It is Monday morning and technically I wanted to vlog yesterday so I could have a vlog up for today. But that didn't go well. I have this new pimple. It started yesterday and I put cream on it. Ooh, it is sore. My face is semi-clearing. Kind of. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's not as bad. No. Oh. That one really hurts. I should probably stop touching it. Today is... Monday I already said that, and it is before noon. That's weird for me. Uh, I actually went to bed... Went to bed at a decent hour, but I didn't fall asleep for a while. I was desperately trying to go sleep, so I didn't touch my phone at all. I think I maybe fell asleep around 2. Maybe. Excuse me. And then I was just on again, off again, on again, off again forever. And then when I finally got a deep, nice REM sleep, uh, I had nightmare after nightmare after nightmare. Oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. Like, it was getting to the point where it's like, all right, I won't sleep. I get the hint. I always hate when I get nightmares because then I get just, like, more aware of danger in a sense that may or may not be there and like I get hypersensitive to noises and sound or sounds and noises are the same thing but I just get hypersensitive to like noises and you know light any sort of movement outside and, of course, like, as soon as I started to fall back asleep, by the time it was, like, s 7 o'clock in the morning, because I wanted to get up at 7, but, you know, we hit the, the snooze button till like, 7.30, and then, like, in between the 7 and 7.30 time, the goat's alarm did this, like, high-pitched squeal thing, and that was excruciatingly painful. <laughs> um, I can't stop looking at this pimple. It's like red and gross. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. This is so much better than just that. <laughs> um, yeah. But it was it was terrible. And of course, I can't just have like a nightmare of like something silly. It has to be like super descriptive and detailed and just so realistic. It can't be like anything like super preposterous because that would be too easy because I could easily just logic my way out of it. I mean, it's it's a it's a nightmare. It's a dream. It's obviously not real, but just the things that happen sometimes in my dreams some are just they get to be too real, where it, it feels less like a dream and, and more like freak accidents that actually happen in life and then I get to see them up close in first person in my head and it's terrifying. I'm an adult, I should not be having this many nightmares. I had a nightmare the other night but it wasn't as bad, it was more like a heebie-jeebies kind of thing than how it was last night. I don't- I'm not gonna describe it because it was very graphic, um, and there's no nice way I don't- I think I could describe this. I don't know. Maybe. Anyways, I'm just happy that I'm up at a decent time. Uh, we got the clothes all taken care of yesterday, so the bedroom looks all nice. The bedroom doesn't ever get dirty except for when the clothes kind of... I We hate, hate putting away clothes. I don't mind doing laundry, taking care of dirty clothes, whatever, but clean clothes. But once we do, I just feel so much better. The room looks so much nicer, and it makes the rest of the house look nicer. However, of course, as soon as one thing gets done, another thing gets ru ruined. Um, we tore up the living room again because Mike is getting a new desk because someone broke it. I don't know who that person would be. All I know is I'm sure they feel bad. <laughs> 
it was me. I broke it by accident, not on purpose. I was trying to move it. I was trying to be nice and I ended up breaking it, but it was just a cheap desk. So where he's gonna go get a new one today. Yeah, that's, you've pretty much caught up on my life. Um, I've been getting my projects decently done. I've been making decent progress on other things. Uh, I'm trying to make a schedule for myself, but you know, I'm just trying to see how things go in a sense of like everything. So, all in all, not too bad. Depression has been, whew, this weekend. That's that's another main reason why I didn't vlog over the weekend was because of my depression and I didn't really do much of anything. Which is not necessarily an excuse for me to not vlog and get stuff done, but it was... It was really hard to work with and I'm sure I feel like quite a few people that watch my channel or you know the people that watch my channel know someone that is suffering with depression or has it you know you guys can understand I just I don't want to bring that negativity negativity to my channel too much maybe like once in a while I'll be like yeah I'm not feeling so great like my anxiety video maybe like a once a month thing that's they have a joke on YouTube that you're only allowed to have like one sad video per month if anything um I'm touching it again uh and that's that's like all you can have because people don't want to see that I mean it's true no one wants to see a sad video but at the same time if you're shooting for realism then you know, people just get naturally sad. We're not engineered to be happy all the time. So don't think someone has to be happy or you have to be happy all the time. But with that of me rambling, I'm going to get stuff done and then maybe film something other than me talking. Are you making it hard for me to wake up to get out of bed? Yes, you are. <laughs>